and I'm giving you four reasons why people don't like you with a special emphasis explaining why women don't like you. Very first reason that people don't like you is because you're a complainer. Turns out when you're talking about your problems with money, health, and all these things, nobody wants to hear it. People got their own problems. Nine out of 10, if you're broke, they're not gonna lend you a dollar, so why are you even telling them? In fact, you're killing their high. By complaining, you're just bringing down everybody's spirits. They don't wanna be around you. People, oppositely, want to be around people who are optimistic, saying, hey, it's a beautiful world. We can do so much, we can achieve so much. So when we're talking about why people don't like you, number one reason, you are a complainer. And specifically, why women don't like you is women don't want a complainer, why? Because complainers are weak. They're perceived as people who have problems that they cannot handle. And a woman needs you to be able to handle your own problems, as well as the ton of problems she's going to burden you with. So that's number one reason you are a complainer. Number two reason is, now this might be curious considering reason number one is you brag too much. You're aggrandizing yourself too much. You're always talking about your damn self. You're a me monster. No one wants to be around someone who's constantly talking about themselves. Why is that? Because the truth is, we're all selfish. We want to hear about us. So people would much rather you be interested in them than be interested in yourself. So if you want to look good, you need to have a third person speak to your credentials. You can't give yourself all the credit. People find that to be extremely annoying and unappealing. And women being able to see through your braggadocious front, your bravado, they're thinking, gee, this guy must not be the real deal because he seems to be talking a lot. He must have some insecurities. Your best move is to display what you are rather than to say what you are, gentlemen. So women do not like someone who's constantly bragging because you're taking the attention off of her, putting it on yourself, and you are hinting at your own insecurity because you feel the need to aggrandize yourself, which suggests that you don't feel very big in the first place. Reason number three, you are opinionated. Now, it's ironic that people wouldn't like you because you're opinionated because, hey, aren't they opinionated? Absolutely. But the fact is, people want to hear that they're right. They want to be reaffirmed. They don't want to hear everything you think. And here's the big kicker that you should have learned from Dale Carnegie. When someone says something, if you have a contrarian view, you should ask yourself, gee, if I say what's on my mind, is it going to help anyone? Is it going to forward either of our personal or professional goals. If not, you should probably shut the fuck up because at the end of the day, not everyone needs to hear what you're thinking, especially if they disagree with what you're thinking. Now the truth is, women can't stand you being opinionated because at, at the end of the day, they want to talk, they want to babble, and they want you to be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, oh yeah, really? Oh, she said, what? Oh, I can't believe your coworker acted like that. They want you agreeing with them. They want you to shut the fuck up and listen. So you being opinionated doesn't help. I can tell you as your relationship progresses and you're really locked in with the woman, then you can be a little bit more opinionated. But me personally, I recommend you keep it silent. Oh, here's the last one. And this one's very subtle. And you might not notice when you're fucking up, but if you're joking at other people's expense or putting other people down or pointing out their personal flaws, that's gonna get them to scram really quickly. So I say that to say, you might be playfully teasing somebody, but really it hurt them deep, it cut them deep, and they didn't even tell you. They just stopped returning your texts and phone calls. So gentlemen, especially when you're interacting with a woman, you wanna keep it positive, especially where her insecurity is involved, because women are very sensitive. You didn't know that, did you? Yeah, of course you did. They're extremely sensitive, so you need to stop joking at their expense, stop teasing them, keep it all positive. Doesn't mean every now and then you shouldn't disagree or chin check them or get into an argument or set them on the right track or reach back like a pimp and park them like a Cadillac. What I'm saying is if a woman's sensitive about her weight, you shouldn't make fat jokes. Pretty simple stuff, right? So those, my friend, are the four reasons that people don't like you, especially women. Don't be a complainer. Don't be opinionated. Don't be braggadocious. And don't joke at other people's expense.